Hello, mathematicians. We're going to go over some of the questions from the homework. Please feel free to pause at any time. So the Sweater Shack is offering a 20% discount on sweaters. If the regular price is $15, what is the discount amount? And what is the sale price? These are just like the worksheet questions. So how do we figure out what 20% of $15 is? We take 20%, multiply it by $15, we get $3. That is the amount of the discount. If I started with $15 and I saved $3, 15 minus 3 is $12, and that is the sale price. This is one of the backwards questions that gives you the sale price and you need to find the original price. So if the sale gives 15% off, then you need to figure out what's left. 100% minus 15% is 85%. So there's 85% left, which means that 1150 out of the original price equals 85%. Or, if I want to think about it the other way, the original price times 85% equals the sale price. So I just need to divide both sides to get my original price. These will cancel out. Whether I divide 1150 by 85% or cross multiply to find my answer, the original price is going to equal $13 and then 52941117647 blah blah blah. We can round that to $13.53. The hard part about this is remembering that if you have a 15% off sale, you have to find what percent is left. This question asks you to find how many students received an A if there are 30 students in Mrs. Jones' class and 20% of them received an A. When you're trying to find the percent of a number, you just multiply the percent, in this case 20%, times that number. 20% of 30 is 6. So 6 students received an A. Any time you need to find the percent of a number, just multiply the percent times the number. Your parents took your family out to dinner. Your parents want to give the waiter a 15% tip. The total amount of the dinner was $42. What should be paid to the waiter? This is very similar to the last question. You want to know what 15% of 42 is, because that's what you want to pay as a tip. So if I take 15% multiplied by 42, I get $6.30. It doesn't ask me what the total bill is. It just says what should be paid to the waiter as a tip. If it asked me what the total amount was, I would have to add 630 to 42. But if it just asks me what should be paid as a tip? That's $6.30. Jean Junction is selling jeans at 15% off, so you know it's a discount. 
The regular price is $25 per pair. What is the discount amount? So in this question, it's not asking for the final price, it's just asking for the discount amount. That's 15% of 25. And like the last question, if you want to find the percent of a number, you multiply the percent times that number. 15% of 25 is $3.75. That is the discount amount. If it were asking for the final price, we would have to subtract it from the original price. But in this case, it's just asking for the discount amount, and that is 15% times $25 is three dollars and seventy-five cents. In question six it says Jeans Plus has a sign that says if you buy three pairs of jeans you get ten dollars off the regular price. The regular price is twenty-five per pair. Would you save more money shopping at Jean Junction in the last problem or Jeans Plus? In the last problem it was fifteen percent off and that equaled three seventy-five per pair. So there's two ways to do this. If we know we're buying three pairs of pants, we could just take how much we saved per gene, multiply it by three, and get 11.25. So if you shopped three pairs of jeans in the last problem, you would save 11.25 total, which is more than $10. So Gene Junction is a better deal. But what they really want you to do is say, all right, if I get $10 off of three pairs of jeans here, what is 15% off three pairs of jeans in the last problem? And then compare them. So if I want to know what 15% of $75 is, I just take 15% and multiply it by $75. And that also gives me $11.25. So no matter how I do the problem, at Gene Junction, I'm saving $11.25. And in Jeans Plus, I only have $10 off. So the 15% off is a better deal. Question 7 says, a video game store has a 20% off sale on all video games. If the game you wanted cost $32, what would the discount be? Well, we just need to take 20% of 32. As always, to do that, we just multiply them. 20% times $32. Same thing as 0 0.2 times 32 equals $6.40. Does it ask what the final price is? No, just what the discount would be. So I don't need to subtract anything. I just say the discount is $6.40. Question 8 says there are 435 representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives. Approximately 12.2% of them are from California. How many representatives are from California? Round to the nearest whole number. Uh, the reason we need to round is because we can't have half a person or 0.2 of a person, so that kind of makes sense. Anyway, like all the other problems, if we want to find the percent of a number, we just take that percent and multiply it by the number. And I get 53.07, but rounding to the nearest whole number, I get 53, which is the number of representatives from California. This is another one of the problems that says I need to find the percent of a number. 
If the sales tax for the city of Los Angeles is 9.75%, how much tax would you pay for an item that costs $200? I take my 9.75% and I multiply it by $200. One reason that I like to use this instead of trying to convert directly to a decimal is on the quiz, I saw a lot of people write 9.75 as 0 0.975. Unfortunately, that equals 97.5%, not... 9.75. So it's really easy to get the decimal in the wrong spot if you try to convert in your head. If you use 9.75 over 100 times 200, you get 19.5, or in this case, $19.50 is how much tax you'd have to pay. If you got the decimal wrong, you might have got $195. So make sure to use 9.75% in your calculator. The last question says, a small business spent 23000 for taxable items last year. The tax rate was 9.5%. How much did they pay in taxes? Just like the other questions, it's 23,000 times 9.5%. And when you multiply those together, you get 2,185. Again, make sure you get the decimal right. It's not 0 0.95, it's 0 0.095. Hope that helped.